Okay, so here we are with um, the artwork that we went out and found on Google. And then I showed you how to import it into uh, Bernina uh, embroidery software on the art canvas side. Then once you imported it, I showed you how to um, set the artwork up, how to change the brightness and the contrast so the image um, is prepared properly the best possible way for the photo snap. Um, so here we are. We've brought the we've brought the image into the embroidery canvas, and now I'm going to show you how to use the photo snap tool. It's very easy. So here's my picture, and it's selected. Then I want you to go to the toolbox area under auto digitize and click auto digitize. Click auto digitize, and you'll see that we have a few different options here particularly the photo snap is the one that I want you to use and it it says right there that little description it says automatically turn grayscale or color photographs into embroidery we really like grayscale or black and white color photos don't turn out so well and remember as always you can press once you're hovering over a tool you can press F1 I'll show you press F1 and that'll bring up that particular tools page in the help file. Now you can see here it explains and gives you a little sample of what the photo snap tool does. Well that's neat, okay? This picture of this child here, that's neat that it kind of digitized it into embroidery. But I, I mean it's not like this is photorealistic, it's just kind of, in my opinion, um, not the best possible use of the tool and that's why I explained to you would do like abstract art like the blog post on the we also uh, website that I showed you so let me go ahead I'm gonna close this window back down and go back to where we were so we found this tree we optimized it and now we're ready to photo snap it let me show you what happens when you photo snap we'll just hover over that tool and left click it the program will work for a minute and we'll see what happens hey that's kind of cool looky there now I'll zoom in and you can kind of see what the program has done it has for the white background part it has laid down a thin amount of embroidery but in the areas where there are branches okay and where the tree itself is you can see it changed the density and how closely the stitches are together creating kind of a silhouette effect here all right now, now that photo is still in the background so this isn't the best possible view if you want a more realistic view we will uh, hide the photo and you can do that by going up right here where it says show bitmap artwork just left click that dude and it'll hide the photo and then now you can really see what you're working with all right now I'm only on 47%, so let me zoom in closer to 100% and you can get a more realistic view, okay, of what this dude will look like. That's kind of cool, all right? Now the fabric you're putting it on, let me go, let me go back to the We Also um, page real quick so we can jump, kind of jump back and forth. You can see what I'm talking about the fabric maybe you want to look in the program at a more realistic view of what this will look like on the fabric because it does matter what the fabric color is and what the stitch color is going to be will create your different effect so I have a white background selected here I want to go ahead and change my background say I'm going to put this on a pillow like in the blog post but my fab my my fabric is going to be a light blue so I would just go to design and then right here where it says background you can change your left click and right here we can change our background color and I'll do something like a teal blue say I was gonna have a teal blue fabric okay now we're getting a more realistic view of what this would look like and of course probably not going to have dark navy blue thread so let's left click on that and we'll go over to the color film or the color strips over here and we can just kind of change colors to see what kind of effect we have okay 
And you just play around with this until something strikes your fancy, okay? Something I want to point out, we have more options at this point than just living with what the computer automatically gave us. There are some uh, parameters that we can change that'll dramatically change the look of what we just converted using the photo snap tool. One thing that I'd like to po point out, and when doing abstract art, I've found looking around that a lot of the ladies are doing this a little bit different. They will do it, you see where the actual object is where most of the sti stitches are? They're doing it in reverse. Let me show you where actually the background would have more of the stitches and then the tree would be more of a cutout. There would be very light stitches there to where it's kind of like die cut out. And if we go back to that We All Sew blog post, you'll see that's what she's done here. You see right here with this tree? All right. This is red fabric and all the orange right here is the background and that would be the stitches. So she just flipped it like a photo negative, like the negative of a photo. Well, that's easy to do, let me show you. We have options. So if this isn't exactly what you want, all right, just hover over your artwork and right click on it and you're gonna get some object properties. And I'll move this box over to the side just a little bit. We have some object properties. Now there are some things that we can change here that'll change the look and feel of the design. And I want you all to play with these. When you find a good photo and you're at this point, play around. Embroider these things out and see what really works for you. But simply by changing right here where it says background, by default the program says the background is a light background. Well, we can change this to dark and I'll hit apply. When I hit apply, watch how it changes on the screen. Okay, apply. And it may take a minute. See, look at there. Now that's kind of, that's really neat. It completely changes the look of the art. Yeah? But we can also change the resolution. By default, we are, the program is digitizing this from what they call medium resolution. If you want a little more detail, or you can go fine resolution. If you want a little less detail, we can do coarse resolution. So let me select coarse and hit apply and see how that changes on the screen. And we're gonna lose some image quality. You see, we, we lost a little bit of image quality in the branches and whatnot, but then we can just go to fine resolution and hit apply and we should get a lot more and even more, more back of the resolution of the detail. And really, it'll really create something nice. Look at that. That I mean, it's very nice. Yeah, that's very nice. But we have a few. We have some other options here. You can change the fill angle. Okay. Right now it's at zero degrees. So if I was to change this to like 45 degrees, let me see. Can I zoom in here? Let me see if I can zoom in. Then you can really see. Okay. See the the stitch angles here. If I change this to 45 degrees, let's hit apply. I mean, you have a lot of control, a lot of control over just about every option. It'll change the look of the design. And it just takes a minute. Just be patient with the program because it's, it's doing a lot. Oh, see how it, it dramatically changed the angle of the stitch? And then you can zoom back out and see what kind of a f a effect that created. See, this is pretty cool. This is really cool stuff right here. Yeah? Now say you're looking at this and you're saying to me, Clint, this is a lot of stitches. And it's gonna say down here, 20, yeah, right here, 26,000, so almost 27,000 stitches. Well, we can change the density or the thickness of the stitches as well. Say you're, you're trying to embroider a fabric swatch and you don't want 30,000 stitches because then it, you know, the feel of it will be greatly affected. It'll be thick and maybe stiff. Well, we can then go to fill stitch where it says fill stitch. And the fill type right now 
is photo satin and it has a few things that we can change again we can change the stitch angle but we can also change the stitch spacing by default the stitch spacing is 0 0.02 inches and that's basically the density if I was to change this to 0 0.04 and when I hit apply, you'll see the stitch count will drop. Let me hit apply and see how that looks on the screen. Like I say, you have control over most everything. And we'll just get, yeah, see, that still looks nice. And it's, it's, it's even more subtle. But now the stitches, the, the stitches have went down to 11,000 stitches. So it's cut down. Uh, dramatically and this still looks very cool all right and after you've made these changes maybe try a few different colors see this is pink but because you have a lot of the blue fabric showing through it gives you a purple look this looks purple not hot pink so it's really fun to play with just the different colors just go through each individual color and you'll get all kinds of ideas you'll get all kinds of inspiration out of this um, black not so much but this doesn't look so so black because of all the blue showing through um, yeah see this looks great just try a white see that's very subtle but you can tell you can really see uh, the tree shape in it isn't that neat it's just neat how it really you, you can get really creative with the photo snap tool especially if you're looking at doing uh, abstract art or you know na nature art, even dogs, okay, leaves, trees, you know, outdoor scenery, uh, all kinds of neat things. Well, this is Clint Seely, and thank you for watching.